Well, good morning everyone and uh, happy it is a Saturday today. And uh, we're here at Siam Mall to start with. We're just parked in the underground. We're gonna head up and get a Starbucks coffee. To start the day. To start the day. We've just finished work, done a couple of hours, delivered a few cars. We're gonna grab our Starbucks and then we're gonna walk down towards Siam Park. Hopefully gonna get two annual passes. We're just gonna go for it. Uh, become annual pass holders so we can come in and out whenever we want and head inside, see what's going on, film a bit of a vlog, we'll see how busy it is, might even buy some fast passes. It's, it's gonna be one of them, we'll just see how it goes. It won't matter because we can come and go as much as we want. We're gonna bring you guys more vlogs, more Cyan Park content, more Cyan Park updates as well. Uh, but for now, it is definitely caramel latte time. I am feeling super tired today. Super tired, I've got that, just need that coffee boost this morning. Tell me, Mr. Andrew, has Sion Park an annual pass holder Facebook group? Actually, I don't think it has. It should do. You see, it's not got the same perks as it has been an annual pass holder in, in Florida. There's no, there's no separate queue and there's no, yeah. I don't even think there's no badges or nothing. No. Yeah, shut up your game there, Sion Park. <laughs> uh, we'll see, we'll see how we get on, but definitely need a coffee to start the day it's currently about half past ten so definitely need to get ourselves started Siam Mall though is looking nice and quiet this morning the top car park's full the bottom one nice and quiet which is in the shade as well so always normally try and go for the underground anyway because your car's nice and cool when you get back So, caramel latte, Laura. Caramel latte. It's not, it's not quite by the Starbucks lake going to Universal, is it? But it's Cyan Mall going to Cyan Park, so can't complain at all. Some lovely cakes in here as well. All your ham and cheese, croissants and sandwiches. Just not quite the same, the lemon loaf here, unfortunately. Red velvet muffin. We've got new little lids at Starbucks here. Little uh, closable ones. Keeps, that'll keep it nice and hot as well, actually. More plastic though, it seems. They, that would use more plastic than normal. Yeah, new lids, very nice. And I have gone for a chocolate donut to start the day, of course. So, nice coffees in hand starting the day. I do like these new little lids. They're very hot, jeez. But uh, wandering in, I'm in holiday mode now. I've got to put cream up as well. Oh yeah, factor 50. Yeah, factor 50, at least factor 30 but multiple times as well. A uh, few people have, who've come recently have said that um, what most people end up burning is actually their, foot, their their scalp, their heads. So do watch that as well. Try and put a bit of spray in your hair or on your scalp because the sun at the moment is relentless. And obviously keep reapplying as well because it does all just wash off. But so excited for this, heading in. All the big rush is gone because it is you know nearly 11 o'clock now. So the big initial rush is over. Should be a bit more of a leisurely walk in. Should be good to go. So just to mention, you've got two lines. You've got a line for tickets and you've got a line for needing to buy tickets. We've got to join the line to buy tickets, obviously. That's why I recommend buying them online if you can. You're going to be able to go straight in the tickets line and go straight in, which will be a little bit quicker. But today is a bit different for us because we're, we're going to get the annual pass. So we've got to wait on that big one, unfortunately. Okay, so there we go. We are officially annual pass holders. They are going to be exchanged for a proper card later on today. That takes 20 minutes, but I'm not waiting around. Yeah. So. so you saw the prices there. It was 99 euros for residents. Not a huge difference if you're not a resident as well, if you're going to come quite a few times yeah. in the year. Uh, as you can see as well, it's still second visit, 20 euros. So if you do come for a day and you enjoy it, and you think you might want to come again, if you buy another ticket for another day while you're still in here, it's only 20 euros. Yeah, it is cheap. It is cheap. So we're going to uh, wander on in. Got my receipt. We'll exchange that for the cards later on. And uh, other than that, that is sort of where it ends perk wise. There's no discounts on merchandise, food, no discounts on lockers, no separate lines, nothing. It's just you can come as many times as you want. So, uh, but it is a good deal. It is a good price. You can't really complain. We're going to wander on in, try and get a little spot on the uh, Wave Pool Beach and just sort of judge how busy it is. It's hard to tell. We'll see if maybe we're gonna get some fast passes. I do think the fast passes are excellent value in here. 
uh, only 15 euros. I forgot, there's one perk to the annual pass. Oh, yeah. it's, uh, when they try and take your picture, you just go annual pass and they let you through. That's the one perk you get. You get to skip the picture. Because if, if you try and avoid that picture, they're not happy. But when you hear your annual pass, they're just like, oh, okay. Yeah. So that's, that's the perk, kicking in there. Oh, the fast passes are 18 euros each. We're gonna try and get some. Now you can't buy them on the front gate. You have to buy them in one of these shops. It's normally this one, the mini market on the way in. Uh, you have to buy them in here. You can't buy them at the gate. Thing to note, this shop could sell out, but the shop somewhere else. There's another them. shop in near the kids area, the new kids area. There's another shop that sells them if they sell out here. Um, but yeah, this is where you've got to come and get your fast passes. You can't buy them on the gate. But 18 euros guarantees one ride on all of the big ones. Yeah, and so I think it's well worth it. Well worth it for the 18 euros. And especially it, if you're an annual pass, every now and again you've only got like half a day. Yeah. I mean, for us, we're going to film, so it doesn't really. We want to show you some footage of the ride, so we need it. Uh, but we are going to be popping in and out, just chilling a lot of the time as well, aren't we? So we'll uh, let you know once we finish this queue. Hopefully, get some by the time we get in there. And then we'll get our spot on the Wave Pool Beach and get a few uh, fast pass rides in. Got our spot on the Wave Pool Beach. Nice, uh, nice little spot. You got enough sun cream on there, Laura? I, did, <laughs> I didn't know it was this stuff that doesn't soak in. Oh my god. Well, you're not getting burnt, are you? No. <laughs> okay, here goes my uh, little fast pass wristband. So you just pop them on yourself and then they do mark off each ride as you do them. I think they're really good value for 18 euros each compared to other parks for a fast pass. The uh, wave pool's just started as well. We're going to go and do some rides first, I think, before we do the wave pool. See how we get on today. As I said, normally might not have sort of done this straight away, but for you guys filming, why you want to see the rides, you want to see the stuff, so it makes complete sense to just get in there and get it done and uh, treat you to some POV footage. So we're going to start off uh, at this end of the park with Dragon and Volcano. Now, if you haven't seen these before, these are the fashion icon of Scion <laughs> Park. If you haven't got, these. if you want to impress the chicas, the men, you've got to get a pair of these. These are the fashion icon. I mean, you, you're I mean, looking. Even Chanel can't get shoes. Like you've even got this. the Scion Park brand, yeah, so you're you're killing it, Laura. <laughs> uh, but no, joking aside, these are. Uh, quite important, so they do save your feet. This is quite rough, the floor. And it can get hot. And it does get really hot. My feet get really sore after walking on this for ages, so these are a bit of a lifesaver. And you can take them on the ride, but yeah, in, I know in Volcano Bay you can't. Yeah, you can, can actually wear them. Wear. Some parks around the world make you take them off. You can wear them here, kick the floor and all that, doesn't matter. Yeah. But, of course, you look amazing in them as well. You get great tan lines from them. <laughs> So we do get to go now through the middle one, which is Fast Pass. I'm going to go through our little special door, and hopefully this should uh, really reduce the weight. It doesn't look too busy today, to be fair. It's not too bad. Guys, this is uh, the cold water is going to wake us up, Laura. This will. Uh, this is definitely going to wake us up if the coffee didn't already. Oh yeah, you can see the two lines here already, so it's going to save a lot of time here. Well, we're definitely glad we got Fast Pass because that queue is massive and this is basically a straight walk on. Straight on to Dragon. That'll, you know, this will really wake us up now. I thought we were going to do Volcano. We've come to Dragon and this one is, uh, this is a good one. But yeah, we saved at least probably 20 to 30 minutes there. Yeah. So I've saved a lot of time already, first ride. Well, what a great way to wake up on a Saturday morning. Straight down, Dragon. And we're going to walk straight on to Volcano now. We'd still be stood well in the line. Oh, yeah. Barely moved by now. So, Volcano up next, it's more of a dark ride. You go inside a bit of a, a tunnel, like a ring, isn't it? It's hard to explain, a bit like a sort of 
arena in the middle that has all light effects, yeah, strobe effects. Really fun, yeah. Not quite as big of a drop on Volcano, but it is good fun. But uh, Dragon's got to be one of my favourites. What a way to uh, start the day. So I'm just going to show you just how much queue we save here with the fast pass down the middle. Okay, so we've just done two rides there in literally the space of 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Really good fun. Such good value, I've got to say. I'm not paid or sponsored or anything like that to say it. We paid to come in and I just think they're a great value compared to what we paid for fast passes in Orlando, etc. I think it's excellent value. But it's worth knowing that in the off season you don't really need it unless yeah. you really want to get everything done, but in the summer you, you do. It is. Especially the admission price, 38 euros. I don't think that's a bad price at all if you compare it to the likes of Volcano Bay is the most example I can give. That's nearly $100 to enter here, 38, plus 18 for a fast pass. If I was coming in the summer, in the summer holidays, if you can afford the 18 euros per person, I would definitely do it, would be my recommendation. But it's great to be back in. Great to be back. I hope you're enjoying some of the on-ride footage. You're gonna give the camera to Laura next. And uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna head over towards the other side of the park, do some other big ones. It is nice to be back, lovely and warm as well. So, the likes of this ring ride here, this is for Giant. The queue is out of the, the actual queue line. This is the queue to get up to Giants. It is massive. Now you've got to take the rings up yourself with this one, but they're not even on the on the steps. It's all the way outside. So this is where the fast pass is going to become invaluable. We get to scoot up that sideline there, which is empty, and straight up and in. We're going to do that one a little bit later on. And bonus as well. Last time we were here, the Lazy River was closed. It's all fully back open. Can't wait to get on there again. We missed out last time. It was being refurbished, being painted. But we're we're back open. We'll get to float around there a little bit later on. So while we walk to our next ride, I've got a question for all you viewers who have been here. What is your favourite ride in Siam Park? Drop your comments below. I want to know what your favourite is. A lot of people talk about online before they come. Everyone talks about um, the big drop one. What's it called? Oh, Tower of Power. Tower of Power. But for me. It's over very quickly, it's quite painful. Uh, I think there's better rides in here, but do let me know. I know Sean on Theme Park Worldwide particularly liked the Aqua Coaster here, which is a good one. Um, I do love this one as well, Kinnery. For me, I think it'd probably have to be Dragon with just Edgy. Just yeah. a bit of nostalgia with Dragon as well. It was one of the first. I think it's a really good ride. But do let me know. And while we've got our annual pass as well, we're going to obviously be popping in and out of here quite a lot. Let me know what sort of videos you would like from Siam Park. I'm going to try and do uh, one video that is more based on what you can do uh, with young children. Show the, uh, the kids area, the kids beach. All the different things you can do if you're not a big rider, if you're not into all these big slides. What you can do, the likes of when my mum comes, what does she do? She's not into all the rides. I'm going to try and show some different things, but let me know if there's a particular style of video you would like from here. Uh, maybe rate the rides from 1 to 10, something like that. Do let me know that in the comments as well because we will be coming back uh, quite often. So uh, do let me know your video ideas. But for now, it is Kinnery time. This is a big one. Yep. And, uh, it's a fun one. I mean, my, my coffee and my donuts are quite settled. Wouldn't like to have come on any quicker. 
We'll, uh, we'll see, we've got good music going on as we go around here as well. It's, uh, it's quite nice, they do have a good music mix going on, it's not too full on. So, great ride on Kinnery, that one really did go fast, didn't it? Really, really fast. So, we're coming on to Singer next. This is the little aqua coaster style one. This was Sean from Theme Park Worldwide's favourite. If you haven't seen his vlog uh, of Cyan Park, do check that out as well. He uh, did a really good uh, vlog from here. But I do like this one, you just get soaked and the water is freezing. <laughs> it's a great ride, but this one is a very cold one. I'm ready! Oh, here we go! Wiggle wiggle! Whoa! Oh. one fast ride really fast you get soaked on that ride but that is so much fun so fast and the bits that go up the hill so good <laughs> yeah so good cool. i can feel that donut oh no <laughs> Little relax in the sunshine. Hey! Whoa! 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 Hey, it's faster than I remember. Whoa! 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 That is nice and relaxed in this one. Whoa! 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 Oh no, I got flushed. <laughs> Here we go. Whee! <laughs> oh, I got a good bit of air time there. <laughs> Good ride on the rapids there. That bit of air, I got a bit of air time at the end. Yeah. It's uh, that little last drop is quite good, quite steep. Now, what do these remind you of, Laura? We've got some little, uh, not steamers, they're like little misters. Well, Just gives me Horror Nights vibes, that. That would probably be like fog, wouldn't it? Just, you know, oh, a bit yeah, of horror you know, fog, fog, yeah. Got Florida vibes as well, but oh, a bit of HHN going on there. Mm -hmm. We've got Thriller on as well, going round. Bit of okay. Michael Jackson. See, you know. <laughs> it's everywhere. I just love the views. Everywhere you look, there's views, and there's no ugly views, I'd say. Everything is picturesque. It makes the park look even bigger than it is. Like, you look through the gaps of the trees here, you've got the river, people on the rapids, the sunbed through. The way yeah, they've done the tree lines the completely. Yeah. And it is a big park, but it feels even bigger than it is. And then you've got all different plants, trees, there's smells going on all over the place. If I had smell of vision, you can smell all the different plants. These in particular, smell absolutely lovely but yeah it's just it's, you really are immersed and it does feel it doesn't feel like Tenerife really in some ways it's a completely different vibe well we're gonna go and conquer the giant now we're gonna get our ring avoid all of this line and scoot up our, scoot up our little fast pass you will feel extra special as well with that fast pass line everyone looks at you especially when you got the GoPro on <laughs> it is quite a nice feeling quite a nice feeling but yeah it's, it just saves so much time once we get back to the wave pool beach i'll work out how many rides we've done and in what time we entered the park at half 11 
And I don't know what time it is now, but we've done a lot already. And comfortable as well. We're taking our own pace. We're not diving and then stood in lines for ages. It makes the ride more enjoyable when you get on it and you've not stood on stairs for ages. You get a bit fed up sometimes. Yeah. This avoids all that. It keeps that thrill going. We should excited, yeah. So we'll let we will see you on the giant. That was mental. I haven't done that one for a while. We end up getting stuck in the in the bowl bit. I end up going backwards, <laughs> and the minute I hit the end of that tunnel, I felt the weight just, the force just flipped me over. I'm like in the water, sloshing around. <laughs> Don't know where Laura is. And then I popped my head up, <laughs> and my my head popped up in the middle of the ring. <laughs> that was way faster than I remember oh, it. Really fast. Wasn't that at all. Oh, it's a short ride, but that doesn't half fly. No, that's fun. Especially with me on the back. <laughs> oh boy, I tell you what, I think I've just swallowed a litre of water being dunked under there. I think it's time for a little chill, a little regroup and we'll check on our progress. But so far, great morning here, great morning. Park is pristinely clean as always, um, operations spot on as well. Can't fault it so far today. It's been really pleasurable. Just love, see it like you're being completely immersed in all of these trees, bushes, and this little bit here. Look at this for a really cool little walkway. Oh, I like this walkway. This is good, this. You go through almost a little waterfall. Great picture opportunity, this one as well. If you're into your Instagram, come and get some pictures here. Well, we've come back towards the wave pool beach and the wave pool is running at the moment. The waves are on, so we're going to head on in and uh, hopefully catch a few waves. It is nice just to come in and chill. It's a little bit colder in here. Oh, it's nice. not too bad. It is Now it's the, the weather's hotter. It is lovely in here. Nice. We're going to wait for the next wave. Oh, okay. And uh, you viewers are coming through this wave with us, so hang on tight. Oh, <laughs> onto the armchair and here we go <laughs> oh boy oh it's coming <laughs> it's coming whoa whoa <laughs> okay so one thing to remember in here is you can bring your gopro on the strap but you're not allowed your sunglasses in here, hence why I'm blind at the moment. And you can't bring a GoPro on a handle either. No, no sticks either, so you've got to have the GoPro strap. If you want to bring your sunglasses in, they will tell you to take them off. I've got mine in my pocket. They won't let you wear them in here, so leave them at the sunbed. And they come in, enjoy the anticipation. Oh, here we go. Oh. Here's the rumble. Here we go now. <laughs> All right. Hey. Are you ready for this? Here we go. <laughs> okay so the main food hall very very busy queue out the door so we've come to this this used to be a sports shop it's now sports bar and this is a little bar you got tvs in here they do hot dog sandwiches crisps and this is lovely and empty as well uh, this is like a takeaway so you're going to take it back to your beds or you can just take it to the table and chairs over there which is what we're going to do but this is new since we were last here this was closed they do coffees they do alcohol as I said, this used to be like a little bit of a sports surf shop, didn't it? This, 
They've now changed it into a bit of a food location, sandwiches, ham and cheese, you've got ice creams as well, uh, Spanish ham, ham and cheese, chorizo, pepperoni, nice. So they do an offer with, it's like an uh, offer for the baguette and a soft drink, five euros fifty. Not bad, not bad at all. So this is what we've gone for food-wise, two chips and one hot dog, all very, very fresh. They did sort of almost cook it as there and then. Uh, Laura's brought her own gluten-free sandwich with her because there isn't that many gluten-free options here, no, uh, which isn't an issue. Uh, this was 12 euros and that was with the can of uh, Accurade as well, nice and cold. So we're gonna do this and then we'll be doing a little bit of a live stream. I will leave the link to that in the description if you wanna watch that. Uh, we've got to announce the winners of our giveaway and then we'll do a few more slides before we uh, head on out in a little bit later. Well, that hit the spot. Very salty chips. Very salty. I suppose that's, you know, good for buying more of them. But it was. It hit the spot. Did the job. I think next time we'll be a bit more prepared. Probably bring, you know, a few little bits if we can in the bag. Um, you may have noticed as well, we did park uh, over at Siam Mall. There is no rules or restrictions that say you cannot park in Siam Mall and walk across to Siam Park. If anyone did say anything to us, we did buy a Starbucks there anyway. And um, so that is where we have parked. As I said, there's nowhere where it says you can't do that. Nowhere where it says you shouldn't. And uh, anyway, we did actually shop in Siam Mall with the Starbucks coffee, but that might be an idea for you. It's, if you do want to park at the, at the actual water park out the front there, I think it's six euros, not a huge amount, but it's not a long walk across to Siam Mall and we might even grab a bit of tea on the way home from there or something. We do need to pop into Hyperdino as well. But yeah, there is technically no rules, restrictions, signs or anything that says you can't park uh, for free over in Siam Mall and walk into here, which is what a lot of people do. It's what a lot of the residents do as well. So we've just had a lovely little live stream, just a quick little wander around. And now we're gonna head onto the Lazy River looking forward to it as i said it was closed last time they've painted it all up nice not other no other major changes to it just painted it up i think and resealed everything have a little ride around there we're going to do the rapid section as well yeah, i like the rapid section laura did have as well on the live stream one of those chocolate covered marshmallows because i always get every time in no matter what yeah uh, it's like a chocolate fountain you can get marshmallows you can get strawberries on there it's all melted all gooey Nice. Yeah, Lazy River time. Looking forward to this because it was closed last time we came, so not been on this for a little while. It's cold when you get in, but just drift around nice. Now this is the life. This is why I became an annual pass holder. <laughs> just to drift around in the sunshine, catching a tan with Laura. <laughs> what more can you want? It's actually nice and cool around here as well. The water's cold. But it is lovely and chilled, this. Sipper. Relax. So, with this, with this, you can just go around it chilled like this. Then there is a section that cuts off. There's a man there asking you if you want to cut off. When you cut off, you go up a bit of a conveyor belt to a second level. And then you come down a bit of a rapids ride, which is what we'll do. Or you can just stay in this section, float around, chill. It's up to you whether you want to do those rapids or not. They are good fun though, but it's not as chilled as this. It's quite a little bit of a rapids ride, and then at the end, you go through that shark and fish tank. But this is nice. This is nice. Let me show you the forward view. You can literally just float around, chill. So nice. Okay, so now here is the section where it's going to section off. So we're going to go off to the left and go up along the rapids. 
uh, film that for you if you went straight on that would just bring you to the end so you don't have to branch off here but if you do want to do the rapids you're going to come off to the left and the uh, the man will push you in and you go up the little uh, electric conveyor belt so, you for that Laura Good fun. So this is quite a cool feature, this electric belt just takes you all the way up to the next section and then your rapids back down, it's nice and relaxing, chilled in it, I could stay on this for days. I know, it's a little massage job doesn't it? If you've not been before as well, there's a massive backwards drop at the end of this, <laughs> so it, it takes you up and then a huge, like almost vertical drop backwards. <laughs> I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding, but I do normally tell everyone that I come with who's new, I always say it and they go, oh, they start panicking. Good fun. This is quite unique this. Quite a unique idea. And here we are on the upper section. Now this one does move a little bit slower. You do have to pull along the walls a little bit. It uh, doesn't move so much. It's got to move a bit slower. Just because at the end of this is the rides down and you have to be put on that by a, a lifeguard so let's just go a little bit slower this section a lot of people do end up getting out the rafts or pulling along it is a little bit slow River, love the lazy river, just chill out, relax, do nothing, and then have that little fast bit in the middle of it. Really good, really fun. Rapids are fast. Yeah, they are. I got some air time there as well. I like that. Um, what we're going to do now is the last rapids ride. There's, There's two, two rapids, isn't there? We only did yeah. one earlier. So we're going to do the second one now. I prefer the first one that we've done, but we'll do the second one since we've got our fast pass. We're yep. going to do that now and we'll film maybe that for you. Maybe do the you. races. We can't film on the races though, but we'll maybe do the races. I never win on the races. <laughs> never. <laughs> what and a film for uh, Then we'll see how we're getting on for sort of time-wise. We, we do have to go back to work at some point yeah. today as well. But so, we'll have done most of it. We'll have done nearly absolutely everything. Yeah, you can come here at 10 o'clock and open and get your fast passes and get everything done by one. So, Easy. Yeah. So if you are pushed to time but you really want to do it, do it and um, get the fast passes but if you just want to get the fast passes so you know you can get on everything that's really good yeah, yeah? So, so it's been, uh, been good so far let's get this last rapids done yeah and uh, let's we'll see how we're getting on see what happens yeah oh 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 Whoa! Oh, 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 oh,
sorted. So with the fast pass you will notice you do get a little bonus one on the top right corner and you can use that on any of them that you fancy. So if you've got a favourite like we have with Dragon, we're going to go and try and use that one on Dragon now and uh, use that little bonus. So don't forget that one, it's not an actual ride, the top, uh, that top right one. It's just a little bonus one for you. So it brings in that value again. If you've got a favourite, you get to go and do it again with your fast pass. So we're going to go and do Dragon one more time. Now also just to mention, you'll notice after lunch, it's about 2 o'clock, 2.30 now. Look at the lines, completely quiet for this end of the park. Everyone seems to be over the other side now after lunch. So I would definitely try and start with the other side of the park and then come to this side in the afternoon. This is empty. This is almost a walk-on, even on the normal queue. So uh, something to bear in mind that, definitely. second ride on Dragon and what I like was uh, we were with those two lads and they'd never done it before so they were quite nervous at the start and then I started over the top sort of screaming and that and it was winding them up <laughs> quite funny oh, I did enjoy that that was good yeah that was a uh, real good way to probably polish off our rides for today I think I think that is going to be it for today though but remember we're able to pop back now any time we feel like. So. Yeah, we've got to pick up our cards on the way out. Yep, pick up our fancy cards. But yeah, we're probably going to start heading out. We have got to go to the airport and things. Uh, if any of you are new to the channel, we own a car rental company here, so we are up and down to the airport with cars all the time. So we have got a few of those later on. But I've enjoyed it. Great few hours. Brilliant. Love that dragon, love it. Don't forget, let me know your favourite. Gotta be dragon. So this is what we'd like to do one day, the champagne club. You get the cabana, the beds, you get champagne. It looks really good. It's 370 euros for two people. I think that's your entry, your beds, champagne. Uh, it's all inclusive, so I think you can drink as much as you want. You get a towel, beverages, fast pass, unlimited as well with that. Unlimited fast pass. So if you divide it between two, it's not a bad price at all if you wanted to treat yourself or it was a special occasion. Love to do that one day, we will see maybe. But uh, it does look pretty good that. Okay, so that is going to be it from us here at Siam Park. Made up to be pass holders. Yeah. Really good price. Uh, the fast passes are so worth the money in my opinion. Especially when it's busy. And then yeah. if you use them in the morning, you get everything done. If you can do some extra bonus ones, the likes of Dragon there wasn't a long wait, then that's a massive bonus as well. Yeah, you, you can get, get a, loads done. a few more things done. Have a jam packed day, yeah. Yeah, get yeah. everything done. It really did. Such good fun, that. I enjoyed the food as well. Hot dog was decent. And uh, yeah. the beds on the, the beach are free, all of that. So really do recommend it. Uh, we'll be back again, of course, definitely very soon. Now it's summertime now, again. Exactly, yeah. We'll be back. It's, it's a nice feeling. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what Cyan Park vlog you would like next. If there's anything specific you want us to film or explain or show, we will do our best. If you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. There is loads of videos already on there, including Cyan Park videos, little tips and tricks and things. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button and uh, slide on. Oh my God. Bye, guys. Bye guys.